common European cultural vision means, first of all, common values. I wouldn't call it common European cultural vision, I would call it shared European uh, cultural vision. And in the term shared um, is the full essence of the whole thing, I think. Cultura a fost cea care a unit oamenii și uh, nu uh, degeaba ne aflăm astăzi la Atena, locul unde s-a născut practic democrația care a plecat de la Demos și Kratos, puterea poporului, încă din antichitate și astfel am învățat cu toții ceea ce înseamnă democrația, ceea ce înseamnă uh, modernizarea societății uh, prin cultură până în momentul de față. Doris from uh, up north, from small communities, can be relevant for people in Athens or in Madrid. I would say I think it's uh, very important that people meet uh, true culture, and I think magical things can happen when people meet. Azért kultúra, mert a kultúra az, ami egyrészt meghatároz bennünket, európaiakat, a görög, illetve a római kultúra, a keresztény és zsidó kultúra az, ami bekeretez bennünket, It brings creatives. The programs we planned, and they planned, you planned, um, they work for the upcoming years and not only for the present. Nothing is possible without the human factor, without the human resources and the teams behind uh, this program. Very different uh, regions and cities, but at the same time, We are the Europe. We are the Europe. We have common values and we have common challenges. Culture, we, we feel that we are the part of uh, Europe. Now, I hope that we, we can continue as a legacy project. I think we have not to have a common culture. We have to say that we are different. Each European uh, city or country is different. And this is the strongness of Europe, yeah? uh, the diversity of the culture. And I think the, this format of European uh, capital of culture will really implement that we have to learn to accept the differences because this make us strong and not weak. I think culture is a wonderful and strong connecting element. And we need this more than ever in these politically challenging times that we live at the moment in Europe and also in the world. All working on the same idea, with the same mission and the same objectives. It's really important that through culture we have a common project, we have a common mission. We are bringing through this ECOC title, we are bringing not only people or population together, we're bringing cities together, we're bringing countries together. And through culture, which is our common base, We are there to promote this. It's not only a promotion for culture, but it's also showing how important culture is because it's our common base and we are here for putting this into focus. And it's also about peace, it's about Europe and showing through culture and this common understanding we can create peace. Well, I think the key um, point of development with the European capitals of culture coming together and passing the baton, passing the flame no? from, from one to the others, what they do is that they help uh, communicate that this fantastic initiative, the European Capital of Culture, is something uh, that they all have in common and helps tell the story that is not just happening in one city or at one time. I mean, each of these individual host cities and regions have to connect with their local communities in their own way. And at times there may be a confusion about too many things going on. No, why there is not just one? <laughs> Actually, the reason why there, there are one, more than one at, at any given year is precisely to also encourage these conversations, these cooperations. And this kind of event, well, the handover, makes this much more tangible, much more visual. We also have these opportunities for really beautiful images, such as a toast, you know, the, the opportunity to toast together and the opportunity to send wishes and also to remind each other that they can count on each other. So symbolically is very, very important, but in terms of communication, it also helps telling the story of why this program exists in this way much more clear for everyone. The ceremony, this handover event is very special for European capitals of culture. 
It's really the moment where the three uh, European capital, capitals of culture of the past year gives over the baton to the new ones. Uh, and the world is changing so rapidly, so we badly need to come together and to collectively uh, try to construct, to build uh, a better world for our future generations. I wish them spirit, joy and inspiration. I wish for them that they can benefit from the legacy, that they can benefit from the structures, from infrastructure, but also from the network, the strong network that they created in this year. Culture unites. Thank you.